Okay, so what we have here are Genesis in its bare state. So all the panels stripped off, so I can show you exactly all the components and where they are. So we start with the top. So obviously we've got the oil filter here, smaller one. We have the oil separator, which obviously removes the oil and returns it back into the sump. On the side, we have thermostat, similar to the car thermostat. So when it gets up to a certain temperature, opens, allows the oil to flow into the oil radiator. Okay, so that can be problematic. We've got the minimum pressure valve, which holds a certain amount of pressure <coughs> in the sump. So uh, if it hits zero, you'll get oil carryover. So this obviously just holds a set pressure in that sump to keep the oil down. Air filter, easy access, unloader valve, uh, incredibly reliable, tell you the truth. Access to the belts, which is nice and easy, just by taking that side panel off. Um, you can then <coughs> obviously drop the air end down via these nuts, so you can change the tensioning on the belts. Moving around, we have over temperature switch. So if the machine reaches just above 100 degrees C, it will cut out. Other side, moving round, we have a small probe here. This will give a reading of the uh, running temperature on the main control panel situated here. Oil feed, so we said about the separator, which removes the oil from the air before it goes into your circuit. This is done via this tube here that goes round and goes into a restrictor valve and the oil was injected back into the main pump to lubricate it. Move round again, dryer, incredibly reliable dryer as well, but if faulty, simply take out the main pipes on wire and the whole thing just slides out so you can check it out. Now obviously this has been stripped down as we've done a few repairs on it. Uh, the age of this is between 2010 to 2018. Uh, it's classified as a C55 air unit. Um, we're now going to build it all up uh, and we'll run it from there. So here we have the same machine with all the panels back on. Please note, this is a pressurized canopy. So you need all the panels on to push the air over the radiator located at the back. So if you think you are allowing more cold air into the unit by taking off one of these panels, that's incorrect. Another common fault that can happen I say common, it's not that common, but is the KA contactor. This automatically comes in as soon as power is put onto the machine. Uh, that does all the uh, control side, so it won't start if that fails. Uh, what we do now is start her up. And that's it, it's quite nice and easy. It's a very accessible machine. Uh, they've got a new version of this out, it's very similar, uh, just a slightly uh, different air end now and a new controller. But the basics of how, actually how you get to all the components uh, is covered in this video. Hopefully, this is helpful.